Welcome class of 2026. Registration will begin for ninth grade, February 23rd, February 24th, March 2nd, and March 3rd. Students will report to the STEM building and parents will be present via Zoom. You will sign up for your appointment on Sign Up Genius and you will be attending a 15 minute meeting in which the student, the parent, and a BHS counselor will sit and talk about your schedule. I will now review the ninth grade course selection process. On February 16th, the ninth grade counselor will talk to the eighth grade students and give them copies of their teacher recommendations. February 23rd, 24th, and March 2nd and 3rd, a BHS counselor will go over your high school four-year plan as well as verify your ninth grade course selections and answer any questions you may have. You will then register for your courses on Skyward. Proof of residency will be required for all rising ninth graders. Parents will have two options for turning in this proof of residency. They can either bring the documentation to BHS and leave it in student services or download the documentation from home. Below is a link for instructions on how to download the required information from home. Freshman orientation this summer will be on July 26th and 27th. There will be a Sign Up Genius in which you will be able to sign up for this and choose either a morning or afternoon session. During these sessions, you will pick up your books, get your locker, pick up your class schedule, and also do some other fun events with BHS teachers, your counselor and administrator. While meeting with your BHS counselor during your 15 minute registration, you will go over a sample four year plan. This is a copy of what a four year plan looks like. We will make this individualized for each student. This is a copy of the registration form that students will use to register for their ninth grade courses. They will bring this home and parents will need to sign the registration form showing that they approve of the courses that have been selected. The back of the form does show a list of all the courses that are offered at Brentwood High School. An example of a ninth grade schedule would include English 1, a math course, biology, world history or human geography AP, an enrichment and lunch period, an elective or a focus area class, study hall, and lifetime wellness. I will now go over all the courses that are required for graduation from a Tennessee high school. You are required to have four credits of English. You can take it standard or honors each year, and then junior year, the option of AP is available, senior year, the option of AP, or you could take the course through dual enrollment. All students are required to take a math course every year they attend Brentwood High School. Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2 are all required, and then a fourth higher level math is also required. On the screen, you will see some suggestions of those upper level math classes. Students are required to take three years of science. That will include biology in ninth grade, chemistry or physical science in 10th grade, and then an additional lab science 11th and 12th grade. Students must take three credits of social studies. Ninth graders take world history and geography or AP human geography. And then in 11th grade, students take US history, 12th grade, a semester of US government and a semester of economics. Additional credits include two credits in the same language of foreign languages, one and a half credits of lifetime wellness and PE, one credit of a fine art, and one semester or a half credit of personal finance. Brentwood High School has seven focus areas. Students choose a focus area and are required to have three credits in that focus area for graduation. Focus areas include humanities and fine arts, TV and film production, coding, business management, entrepreneurship, STEM, and AP. It's very important to really think hard about what level you take your courses. 
Most courses are offered standard or honors, and then some are offered at the AP or advanced placement level. There are many different things that go, in, go into how you make your decision. Teacher recommendation, standardized test results, your previous grades, what your goals and motivations are for the future, what extracurricular activities you're involved in, how organized you are, and your ability to meet deadlines are very important in making these decisions. This slide shows you how to understand weighted GPA. There's a description of honors courses, AP courses, dual credit courses, and dual enrollment courses. As you move through the high school, we will discuss these in more detail, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your counselor. This slide gives you a description of the two separate grading scales that are used in Tennessee. The top shows the Tennessee Uniform Grading Scale, which is used only for the HOPE Scholarship. The bottom shows the Williamson County Grading Scale, which shows you the value of a regular class or a standard class, an honors class, and then a dual credit or an AP course. While we encourage all students to take all ninth grade classes in the building, there are some options for online classes. Those are guitar, ACT prep, lifetime wellness, and visual art. You will sign up for these when you do your ninth grade registration. There are several different diplomas that are offered at Brentwood High School, and it's important that you understand what these are now, so that way you start with the ending in mind. So knowing that there are a variety of honors and distinctions that can be awarded, it's very important that you read through these descriptions and make sure that you are taking courses that will allow you to receive the diploma that you choose to get. This is a slide showing the distinctions that you can get on your diploma at Brentwood High School. This is the description of the criteria for the volunteerism diploma. It is very important you read through this because this requirement begins the first semester of your freshman year. Even though you're just starting your ninth grade, it is important to know what the requirements are for valedictorian and salutorian in case that is something that you strive to achieve. This slide shows what those requirements are. So my name is Lori Eggleston and my email is lorie at wcs.edu and I will be the counselor for the class of 2026. Our assistant principal is Dr. K.P. Moll, and his email is kawonia.mull at wcs.edu. He will also be with the class of 2026 from freshman year till graduation. The executive principal at Brentwood High School is Mr. Kevin Cadell.